Imagine being the odd child in your family. That's how I would describe Winner. At the time, YG Entertainment was known for their over-the-top charismatic groups like Big Bang and 21. Then along comes Winner, a group that debuted snatching rookie records lightning fast. But where are they now? Today we're gonna go over Winner's history, the monster rookies they were, losing a member, finding new success with a major change in style, and why it's gonna be quite a while before we see Winner again. Now before looking forward, I always like to look back. Let's take a time machine back to 2010, because that is when Winner's future leader and main vocalist was introduced to the world. Sun Yun auditioned for the television talent show Superstar K. He wouldn't win the season, but finished fourth place. That did get him noticed by YG Entertainment as he was signed with them a year after the show. He made his acting debut first in the drama High Kick with a cast full of other K-pop idols. Only after this, he debuted solo with the single It Rains. Winner's visual Kim jin Woo was brought into YG by being scouted by Big Bang Seung Lee when he was a student at Joy Dance Academy. In 2011, another future member joined YG Entertainment through a private audition. His name was Nam Taehyun, a music junkie at a young age. In 2012, one of Winner's future rappers, Lee Sung Hoon, was a contestant on the first season of K-Pop Star, a brand new competition show where YG's founder and CEO at the time, Yang Han Suk, was a judge. So when Sung Hoon finished in the show in fourth place, he caught the eye of YG Entertainment and signed with them in the same year. Winner's final member was founded by his presence in the Korean underground rap scene. Sung Min Ho, or at the time, Huge Boy Mino, performed with Black B, Zico, and PO before they were even K-pop idols. Before YG, Mino joined a different company and debuted in a boy group called BOM. During his time in the group, Mino got to appear in a drama, The Strongest K-pop Survival. That is when YG Entertainment saw something in the rapper. So when Mino's group disbanded only two years later, he was able to make the move to YG Entertainment. Now that the members were all in YG Entertainment as trainees, they didn't just debut as winner. No, YG wouldn't make it that easy. That's why YG Entertainment premiered this survival show, Win Who Is Next. The members of Big Bang and 21 are looking forward to the new boy group reality program. Putting two teams, Team A and Team B, against each other to find a new boy group. This would be YG Entertainment's first boy group since Big Bang, so the anticipation was super high. The members of Winner just so happened to end up in Team A. Through the next 100 days of filming, both teams put on fantastic stages in order to move the audience and viewers at home to vote for their team. It was very emotional at times, especially in the finale, when the winners of the show were finally revealed. This winning team would be called Winner. Winner is A team. With the other team going back to trainees until years later when they also debuted. Of course, you know them now as Icon. Already having a following from the Survivor show, Winner was in the unique spot to perform before debut, like joining Sister Group 21's All or Nothing Tour and the YG Family Power World Tour, something not many rookie groups get to do, especially before debut. Yes, Since Winner has been different from the beginning, so is their debut. YG Entertainment set up a one-of-a-kind debut showcase. Winner had a fashion show with models from YG Entertainment's model agency YG Plus and Winner themselves walked down the runway. This was actually more of a branding decision. Winner was meant to be classy and sophisticated, which we finally got to see when Winner debuted in 2014. Winner dove into K-pop with double debut title tracks Empty and Color Ring. Both are similar in that they tried to show a different color from their seniors Big Bang, but more than that a different color almost completely as to that of YG Entertainment artists have shown before. The boys started a shockwave across not only Korea, but much further. In only 6 days, Winner won their first win on M Countdown making them the K-pop group with the fastest first win in history. Winner, 
축하합니다. 수상 소감 부탁드릴게요. 아, 네. 감사합니다. 일단. 아, 저... Holding the record for five years until X1 in 2019. Winner continued to top Korean charts, and in a short three weeks, they now had a number one album on the Billboard World Album charts. This almost never before seen explosion of success for such a new group caused Korean news to call Winner Monster Rookies, which is totally deserved. The rest of their debut year was shining with awards from end of the year Korean awards and even Chinese ones like the QQ Music Awards. <laughs> Striking gold almost everywhere, why not enter a brand new market? And that's what they did. Winner made their Japanese debut with a Japanese version of their debut album. But the question is, did they dominate? Do aliens exist? The answer to both is yes. Winner sold over 35,000 albums in only four days. The album peaked at number two on the Otakon charts, and at their Japanese tour, Winner put on a show for over 50,000 fans. The explosion that was 2014 was followed by a calmer and less active 2015. For the majority of the year, the boys were off on their own projects. It wasn't until December where plans for a comeback project were mentioned. Showing a more rebellious side with Sentimental while still keeping that classy and even sexy side with Baby Baby. Oh my god, Minho, look. Listen, that fish saw everything, by the way. <laughs> Winner killed in Korea. No, really, they did, receiving an all kill for these new songs. And still, for some reason, Winner remained tremendously popular in China, with Baby Baby being the most streamed song from a Korean artist that year. Going on tour to promote their new comeback across Korea, Winner and K-pop fans were hit with some news. News that would change the whole look of the group. Nam Taehyun decided to take a break from promotions due to his mental health, but soon after, he would leave Winner permanently. He pointed back to his health as the reason why he left, but over the years, he talked about wanting to live his own life, his own style. He would eventually create his own band, South Club, in 2017, which is still active. Now, the future of Winner was undecided. What would become of the group? It would be a long 14 months before anyone had an answer. And with this new comeback, Winner's future seemed brighter than ever. Winner showed even more colors of themselves and put out their biggest hit yet. This is really, really. Taking a brand new approach by filming in Los Angeles and hiring an American director for this music video and their other song, Fool. Plus, the songs were produced and written by Winner themselves. That's a recipe for magic. That magic created a spell on fans and music charts. They hit number one in Korea, hitting number three on the Billboard Digital Songs chart and surpassed 100 million streams. Winner carried that monster rookie spirit all the way, and even with the loss of Taehyun. In order to stay on top and match the summer heat, Winner returned once again with two new singles, Love Me Love Me and Island. Much more laid back and perfect for the summertime, Winner does nothing but compliment each song that they do. Continuing on into 2018, Winner dropped a whole album with the title track, Every Day. Every day, day. Remember when I said Winner was all about being classy? It seems like they switched to be more trendy and stylish. But there's a problem with the song Every Day. It is shot in America and with the same American director, with popular dance moves that are famous internationally. Most at first, including me, was saying, oh, they're just doing this to go viral. But Winner somehow doesn't make it feel that way. They fit an international concept, even if that wasn't how they were originally designed. But as always, this choice was made for a reason, because Winner and YG Entertainment planned the group's first world tour. Upon returning to Korea, Mino was able to promote Fiancé, one of many solo works he had while in Winner. He is probably the most active Winner member. 2019 was an active year as ever for Winner, as they dropped two new singles, Millions, and another Winner member got to go solo, Jinu with the song Da Da Da, which did really well domestically. Even solo, Winner is impactful. Then, Winner had one of their last major comebacks. Yeah. 
I know on every other K-pop music video, you'll find a comment saying, this is art. Well, if someone made that comment on Winner's So So, they would be right. Winner gave you a tour of the human emotion. Something so complicated, but at the same time, simple. And maybe because of this sudden change from continuous uplifting lit songs to this, it caused So So to underperform on charts. Nevertheless, Winner set off on another tour across Asia, but midway through, it had to be canceled because of a little sickness hitting Asia at the time, and now it's everywhere. Winner then had the idea to put on a live concert online for free. Winner's cross special live went on for two hours and brought in almost a million viewers. A new year in 2020 was just like any other year for Winner. They kicked it off with a pre-release single, Hold, a really simple and fun song that has a music video to match. It's just a pre-release song and is one of my favorite songs out there right now. Then in April, they dropped their third album, Remember. As you could tell, this was a goodbye in a way. Looking back at the nearly seven year journey of Winner, while it isn't the end, it definitely will be some time till Winner can regroup again because Jinwoo enlisted into the military, followed by Seunghyun, with release dates for the two set in 2022, while Mino and Seungyun are preparing for their solo promotions. They too will have to serve soon in the military. So yes, this is not the end for Winner. Just another break. You know, wrapping up Winner's story, I wouldn't call them K-pop idols. I'd call them artists. No other K-pop group makes you feel how Winner makes you feel. And if you learned only one thing from Winner, learn that being different isn't something to be looked down on. Being different is what makes you special. That's it for me and that's it for this video. If you enjoyed, please hit that like and remember to subscribe so you don't miss a new What Happened video. And yes, I'm back. I was stuck between video ideas, business stuff, and everyday life stuff. So forgive me for a little bit of a break in between videos, but let me know what you think about Winner. I've always had this soft spot for Winner. To see them change over time and to keep that quality, that's what I know Winner for. And um, yeah. They have a great story and uh, I think they have a great lesson that they teach as well, like I said in the video. Let me know your story about Winner. Did you know them before? Did you know them just today with my video? Now I wanna give a big shout out to the people on Patreon for making these videos possible, especially the tons of new patrons, including Bren A, Gia Pia, Melty Vang, Kate, Alex Lee, Ocean Dance, and everyone else on Patreon that are making these videos possible. If you wanna help out my channel, help me create more videos and get a shout out, be sure to head over to Patreon and support for as little as $2 a month. Now, that's it for me. Have a fantastic weekend and I'll be back next week with brand new videos. Annyeong.